Hi guys, good morning everybody. This is Vidisha Vitlani and I welcome you to the Aussies group. Now, what's today's topic? Uh speaking about today's topic, it is I believe the most underrated topic when it comes to IELTS. It is the topic that includes the writing task 1. Okay, now see why do I say that writing task 1 is the most underrated topic? See whenever it comes to the writing component, we guys always practice task 2 task 2 task 2 read lot of samples you know and do a lot of things related to that but when it comes to task 1 we hardly like practice it okay and that's where our fault lies that's where the problem lies that we have to understand that task 1 also has to be given equal importance like task 2 because the marks involved in task 1 that is three bands are involved okay and these three bands are cash bands like if you write your letter properly or if you write your essay properly you are going to get these bands so hence it's very very important to also focus on task 1 okay now what about task 1 firstly what i'm going to say is i'm going to start with the general training then i'm going to move on to the band descriptors okay so coming to the task 1 of general training there are three types of letters letter 1 is a formal letter now when it comes to formal letter you writing a letter to the higher authority letter 2 is an informal letter that means you writing to a friend or relative writing the uh, letter 3 is a semi formal letter that means you writing to somebody you know but for the purposes of work now why is it important to identify what type of letter it is firstly it's very important so that you can have a proper opening and a closing so if i'm writing a formal letter the opening of the formal letter is going to be different compared to the informal letter the formal letter opens with dear sir or madam and ends with yours faithfully the semi formal letter opens with dear mr and the last name and it closes with yours sincerely and your informal letter begins with dear your first name and closes with warm regards or best regards now when you doing a proper opening or closing this shows the examiner that you have understood the topic well this shows the examiner that you have or uh, you know understood what type of question it is now let's go through the format the letter is basically divided into five paragraphs the first paragraph is the purpose Now, why is the purpose important? The purpose actually, uh, remember, in our emails and stuff, we write the subject line, right? But in my formal letter or in my informal letter or semi-formal letter, I don't have subject, right? So when it comes to the subject line, since I don't have a subject, what am I supposed to write? I'm supposed to write the purpose. Like I am writing this letter because, and you have the whole thing, okay? Then comes your bullet points in your letter there will be three bullet points given in the question each bullet point needs to be taken separately and explained in three to four lines okay so and then next comes closure closure is you actually winding up the paragraph that would be something like thank you for um, understanding or i hope you uh, you know take the action as soon as possible so basically there are five paragraphs the first paragraph is the purpose there will be three bullet points so bullet point 1 bu- takes bullet paragraph 1 bullet point 2 takes paragraph 2 bullet point 3 takes paragraph 3 and then comes the closure so that these are five paragraphs in total now what do you have to remember here now see first thing you have to remember is you have to suffice the minimum word count the minimum word count is 150 so you have to make sure that you are writing at least 150 you can go a little longer but don't go very long because then you don't want to spend more time with this the second thing is you have to make sure that you're making no spelling mistakes at all okay because spelling mistakes are obviously going to cost you Okay another important thing that you have to understand is forget spelling mistakes you have to also understand that when it comes to abbreviations like don't can't shouldn't you can use them only in your informal letter that is a letter that you are writing to a friend or relative you cannot use them in your formal or semi formal letter right another thing you have to add the variety of sentences also your paragraphing has to be perfect 
and the main thing when it comes to ilts is the relevancy you have to have to have to make sure that you are relevant when it comes to your answers okay so see what i believe is if you're not uh, writing properly like you've not chosen big words or you're not chosen like proper words still what you're writing is relevant what you're writing is on point to the focus and um, according to the format i just told you you are definitely going to get a lot more marks right now let's move on to your band descriptors for you to actually write a correct letter it is very important to understand how are you going to be judged like an examiner is not going to see your letter and say wow and just give you marks it's not possible right so how are you getting your marks as i say in writing there is a specific table called as a band descriptor table the examiners refer to this particular table and then give you your marks so your first uh, parameter in there is your uh, task achievement now see when it comes to task achievement that means you have fulfilled what i've told you to do so what are you expected to do the first thing that you're expected to do is write 150 words that is a minimum the second thing is you're supposed to include all the three bullet points in your answer so which you should in different paragraphs the third thing is you have to identify the purpose and write it properly so these are the three things the next comes is your to uh, coherence and cohesion now when it comes to coherence and cohesion so simply means your structure and layout now what i'm talking about structure and layout simply means that you have five paragraphs you have paragraphs done properly second thing you've added your connectives you've added your linkers so that there is no you know it's not messed up it all looks synchronized as good as that if your letter is synchronized you are sorted the next comes lexical resource lexical resource is using the correct word in the correct place so if it's a formal letter you have to make sure that you're using words that are more formal if it's an informal letter you have to make sure that you're using words that are less formal like for example if it's an informal letter i can say that i would like you to know your you can say i would like to make you aware or i would like to make you acknowledge so there is a different set of words that you can use right and the next comes grammatical range and accuracy grammatical range and accuracy as i say is use the grammatical range implies you using simple compound complex whereas accuracy simply means that your tenses your punctuations your grammar everything is proper so these are the band descriptor tables this was in short how to use a letter please you can go back to our detail session watch them and uh, write samples we also have a writing evaluation services which can also help you if you've written a letter please send it to us we will surely be helping you i hope the session was useful to you meanwhile if you need more assistance you can always log into rts2tutorials.online we're always there to help you and now since the exams are on in full form i want to make make sure that you select your own date and in full gear prepare for it all the best guys thank you so much for today